Hi everyone, welcome back to Engineer's Tech Hub channel. In this video, we will discuss cognizant interview question and answer for automation test engineer experience 3 to 5 years. Okay, so if you are following my uh, series, I have already uploaded many videos for top level of the MNC company. Okay, so first question always tell me about yourself. So I took the couple of the interview people are doing many mistakes here so you should not uh, speak uh, too much and make a lengthy tell me about yourself what you have to highlight your name your current organization your relevant experience if you have a total like uh, seven year of experience how, how much you have worked in the automation and manual then you have to highlight your skill set okay what is your primary skill set? What is your secondary skill set? Your current project, your roles and responsibility. These are the things you have to highlight. You have to not tell all the story because we have only 30 minutes and 45 minutes. If you will take 5 or 10 minutes, only tell me about yourself. What I can ask to you, right? So, you have a crisp and clear your profile. You can explain your profile very clearly. And first impression is your last impression. So this question is very important. Okay, practice well. I have already uh, created a video. Tell me about yourself also. You can refer those videos. Okay. Next question. They have asked what is your day-to-day -day activity? So guys, uh, this is like uh, some of the technical part. Uh, definitely uh, regular activity we are doing for the day-to-day -day activity. Sometimes it depends upon the project, how your product project uh, like behavior we have and currently what is going on. It totally depends upon that. But day to day activity, uh, we follow the agile process accordingly. We are doing this, doing doing those activity, right? You know what is the agile, right? So we have already explained you the agile, how the agile is working in my manual testing tutorials. We can just refer those tutorials, right? So when i log in the system generally i check emails okay so emails so when you log in the system your first priority you can check the emails do you have any urgent work from the client side and all we can take the highest priority and we can work on that right so they start with the checking the emails and anything important urgent come from the client side then accordingly work prior to get decided okay so this is very important do not miss your emails so if you will miss might we will get some escalation right so check the your emails then attending the daily stand-up meeting right so participate in daily stand-up meeting to discuss the progress blockers plan with the development and QA team you can say scrum meeting okay understood right in the agile perspective that is called a scrum meeting or you can say daily stand-up meeting so i am working as an automation tester so we can move in our regular task writing maintaining the automation script start working on the scripting debugging as per the plan right whatever the task we are working on that accordingly we are working on that okay so if you have any release plan any deployment and definitely we are involved in the activity of uh, smoke testing sanity testing regression testing okay so these are the important things for day to day we'll move in the next question so next question they have asked uh, what is the difference between overloading and overriding so one more thing i want to discuss you guys so in automation testing profile your 50 to 60 percent or 70 percent your interview depend upon your programming skills the people are doing the mistake they are learning selenium cucumber api testing but they are not good in the programming this observation i have i took the couple of the interview in taking a daily the interview and all so this observation i have seen right uh, when you are not good in the programming it is very difficult to work on the automation part okay so please take care of that so refer my tutorial if you are not uh, if you are new in the channel i have created a complete playlist on java okay and this tutorial will definitely will help you okay please refer but i have collected couple of the point that will helpful for you so what is overloading so method name is same we are passing the different parameter 
different data types or you can say different order means your method signature must be different okay so defining a new method with existing method with name with a different parameter or order is called method overloading it is called runtime uh, sorry compile time polymorphism right so overloading is resolved at a compile time next point method signature so method signature must be different right because we have a different parameter why we use this so it is used to increase readability of the program for allowing the multiple method to perform the similar function but with different uh, inputs so i have given the very uh, good example in our java tutorial print ln so we are able to print any types of the value over there okay so understood right so it's a very important you know like your java skill set okay so just I have given some a snapshot of uh, this code you could see here so method name are same and we are passing here different uh, number of parameter you can see we have an int and int a and int b so here we have a different you can see parameters are different but in the method overloading you can pass the different types of the data types as well okay so just refer my tutorial a uh, java tutorial it is a very helpful okay then what is overriding concept even i explain very well overriding concept in our java tutorial okay please refer just go through once but here out i have also collected some of the important point if someone will ask you what is overriding concept so you will get have a more clarity about that okay should not worry about that this point is also important but your understanding is very important only you are going to speak uh, you know things will not work you have to understand the concept accordingly you have to present yourself okay so what is overriding so redefining super class non-static method in subclass with same prototype this concept is called overriding so we are providing the different implementation but if you are not good in the java you will not able to understand so watch my series from the beginning so we'll get more clarity but yeah so what is uh, here redefining superclass non-static method in subclass with the same prototype is called method overriding but different implementation okay this is called runtime polymorphism okay so when you are writing web driver driver equal to chrome driver this is also one of the example of over sorry overriding concept okay so uh, runtime this is called runtime overriding is resolved at a runtime method signature must be same here okay the method uh, in the child class must have a same parameter list as a <coughs> the method in the parent class okay these are the technical word but what i explain you can just go through that why we can use this so for same method name and we are passing the different parameter okay suppose we are using web driver driver equal to chrome driver and when we are uh, using a driver dot get right so here which method will execute chrome driver type when you are holding a uh, firefox driver so which method will execute firefox driver right so again this is the high level i have uh, given this point so it is used to provide a specific implementation method name is get but we are providing the different implementation that already defined in the super class so you can see here we have a parent class and child class display method we are passing the different implementation this is only system dot out dot print ln, but if you will watch my java tutorial i have explained very clearly okay so we have a many question guys uh, so we will discuss in the coming video so we will create a part two part three as well because i don't want to uh, this video make a uh, long okay so another uh, question i will discuss in the next video please subscribe and press bell icon so you should not miss this video thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video bye bye